this course. That's such a this lecture, this will be a lecture followed by a Q&A. The ground rule is if you ask questions, please be civil. If, excuse me, if, if you are disruptive, you'll be asked to leave. Thank you. So now, <laughs> so we're the Cobb Republicans. My name is Tim Sullivan. I'm the Yo, make both of them a president again.
keep going? <laughs>
very same outfit, I'd wear that outfit to work, to the club. And if I was ever confronted, I'd say, you know, I'm standing up for my roots. Right? Get out of here. Um, and it, it would be ridiculous. But I can say, you know what? Um, I am sick of this hodgepodge of skinny jeans and communist shirts and Cosby sweaters that the rest of my generation is doing. I want to dress like a rena uh, Renaissance white man. <laughs> And yet, when other cultures do it, when other cultures do it, the less places that are going to be It's true. They're, they're a minority. They're flooding uh, cultural isolation. Rather, our cultural isolation. Because an isolated people are easy to sway from home. They not only just say that foreigners should feel fine wearing a practical clothing, they encourage it. <laughs> they want black people to dress like they did in Africa 300 years ago. Native Americans to dress like they did 400 years ago. Americans spray. I like the way the way I start on this. And they want Muslims to dress the same way Muslims have always dressed. because the left wants them to feel as comfortable in America as possible. Because if that were the case, they'd all be dressing in modern clothing. The left wants them to feel as, uh, or seem like visual advertisements for their multicultural utopia that they're claiming to promote. The left is attempting to create an environment where white people don't claim that, uh, who don't claim they're transgender or something like that are ranked as minorities, what? placed what? at the very bottom of their territory of intersectional They want each race and each subsect of people to feel as marginalized as possible, and they've come up with techniques for each group. To black people. They say uh, that they always need to meditate on American slavery, even black people whose families came here in the last 50 years. They tell them that they are oppressed minorities who are subject to incredible but unperceivable human injustices on a daily basis, that they'll never be able to get ahead because of the systematic oppression that looms over this entire nation. <laughs>
could not lose the one who's still trying to figure out the angels, but I'm sure in the next year we'll find out.
don't even know what he says. I don't even know what he says. Here's his Twitter. Take it out. Here, you want it? I just printed out his Twitter. He's transphobic. He's homophobic. He's super sexist. I even circled some. Now you know him on Twitter. Oh, it's his Twitter where he's saying transphobic stuff, sexist stuff, Islamophobic stuff. So, for y'all, support somebody or bring it up. That's real. Oh, the notes, the notes. 